Hi, my name is Bram and I've done now over a year of van life in Turkey. I just crossed the border into Iran and now I'm gonna search for the new adventures. So in this video I'm gonna tell you the story of how I traveled Maranjab Desert. Be careful, <laughs> it's a crazy one. Warning, a desert is a dangerous place. Don't take this video as travel advice. Good morning, today I'm going to a desert. I'm pretty excited actually, because I have never been in a desert before. Having my first experience in a desert, yeah, you can imagine that I'm excited. <laughs> I think a half an hour drive away from the desert. But first I need to go to a shop because I'm going to a desert and this is all the water that I have left. Going to a desert without water is not the smartest thing. <laughs> so let's go to a shop. Did somebody need some water for the desert? <laughs> I've just passed the first checkpoint of the desert and I'm entering now. Yeah, welcome to the desert, boys! Yes! <laughs> Hail, beautiful! <laughs> there are surprisingly a lot of plants here in the desert. Very bumpy. <laughs> this is so impressive. It's the first time that I'm in a desert and, and 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 I'm speechless. As far as I can see, only desert. And then on this side, we have the salt lake. Colder than I thought here in the desert. It's also so quiet. I've just arrived here at the Caravanserai. This is this big building here in the middle of the desert. It looks like a very old building, but it's renovated. So let's try if we can get in. It's like a small fortress with these high walls and this big door. <laughs> it's protecting you against the danger outside from the desert. So this place was used for the people that were going through the desert to rest, to eat, to refill, to continue. Everything also for your camels. You see all these small doors on the side. This is where all the people slept. It's so well restorated. It's beautiful. Before I entered Maranjab Desert, I didn't even know that wild camels still existed. And then this happened. <laughs> Whoa, I see a wild camel! <laughs> they look so happy. <laughs> oh, camels! <laughs> it makes me so happy to see a wild camel to be happy. <laughs> Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, this... Guys, 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 I spot more camels far in the distance. <laughs> more camels! <laughs> Darkness came. I'm parked now in the middle of the desert here next to the salt lake. The salt lake is over there and it's supposed to be an island in the salt lake. That's pretty cool. But for now I'm just taking some really cool pictures of the stars. The other really cool thing about this desert is it's so quiet. This is gonna be an awesome night. <laughs> Go! 
Good morning in the desert. <laughs> Tonight was a very cold night. It was like minus eight, minus nine. The only problem with the cold is like waking up, like getting out of that warm bed. <laughs> but for now, I want to make some breakfast and then head over to this really big dunes over there. I want to climb them and then have the view from the big dunes. Yeah, that's gonna be epic. Let's get some breakfast. <laughs> I present to you the big dune I was talking about. Yes, it's still pretty cold and it's also still pretty early. But I'm gonna hike to the top and just sit there. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit there. Yes. Back at the van. While I just keep on driving into this emptiness, there he is. I still have the feeling that I'm arriving somewhere. For me now, it's day two of living inside of the desert. But I'm convinced now that there is just more to it than just this emptiness. It's not easy. Before I ever entered the desert, I made this idea in my head of what a desert would look like and feel like. But now that I'm finally here, I can just not explain to you how strong a desert actually is. Good morning to day three in the desert. Sun is behind the clouds, so today is gonna be a bit more of a cold day. I hope it's not gonna rain today, because then we have some big probability that we're gonna get stuck in the desert. <laughs> Well, only drive deeper and deeper into the desert. I hope I don't get stuck because the road gets worse and worse. Now I'm trying to get over the salt lake onto the islands. I have no idea if I can reach that road because we are crossing a salt lake and it could be that it's still wet and that we're gonna get stuck. But uh, I'm just gonna try, you know? <laughs> if we get stuck, then we find a solution. This should be the road that I need to take towards the island. Splits up here. See that that road is way bigger than this one. So the road is getting smaller towards the island. I know you cannot see it because the island is so deep into the salt lake. But this lake is so massive. <laughs> we need to get there. Let's go. The Salt Lake Road is better than I expected, lucky for me. But look how beautiful is this. All these shapes in the ground where the salt is breaking up. That's the island I'm talking about. I'm now driving already like for a half an hour through the Salt Lake. But we're not there yet. <laughs> okay, this is unbelievable. I reached the island and the view that I have from my standing point is... For me this is so beautiful. Let me tell you why. I'm standing in the middle of an island. That island is in the middle of a salt lake. And the salt lake is in the middle of a really big desert. And I'm standing here with my van. That's why I love van life so much. Now I have my own kitchen with me. I have electricity. I can cook. I can wash myself. I can sleep here. I can live here. My house is here. And this experience makes me so happy like to be all the way out there. On an island. Completely alone. Nobody. So quiet, so peaceful. Good 
Good morning to you all from the island. This is my day four that I'm now in the desert. And yeah, my first day on the island of the desert. This morning I already did my morning walk like I do every morning. Today I started around six and I collected some garbage from the island. There was not a lot, but some strange things. Except for garbage, I also find something else very interesting. And I really want to show you guys. But first, I'm gonna get some breakfast, rest a bit. Okay, you're ready for today's adventure? I want to hike to the other side of the island to see the whole perspective of the salt lake. First, I want to show you something that I found during my morning hike. And you will never guess what I found. So it's a bomb. I have no idea if it's from a tank or from a plane, but the only thing I know is these things are pretty dangerous. They can still explode any moment. When I'm looking at this bomb, I'm wondering from where it is. World War II, from a war for the oil? Is this for a war for the desert? Who knows? The desert. It gave me a special type of emotion. I'm gonna try to explain to you. The silence of it goes deeper than you can hear. It's a type of quietness you can feel stroking over you. A silence that makes time stop, but at the same time talking to you from its deep emptiness. It will never lie to you, but it will also never die. The all-seeing sun, bleeding into a night sky filled with raindrops of stars. Being here alone already for four days, it showed me the way to my inner desert, inner peace and my inner silence, so that my own thoughts are like loud storms racing through my desert. In part two of Maranjab Desert, <laughs> I'm finally gonna find some people. And these people are crazy. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you like my work, please support me. And see you in the next one.